Hello everybody, Joe here with Garden of Bloom. On today's video, I wanted to give you a quick update on my Anonas. I have four Anonas, I have two Adamoyas, a Soursop, and a Sugar Apple, all grown from seed. Here is one of my Adamoyas here, and you can see it's growing in a, like a 30 gallon tub here. These are all about three to four years old. I'm in the Phoenix, Arizona area, growing zone 9B, growing in the desert, so it is a hot, dry climate and we've been extremely hot this summer. We're moving into October. Still getting 100 degree days though, but it is cooler at night. So I want to show you here, this was the only fruit set that I had all year and you can see it's drying up. Didn't make it. But this was the only fruit set I had this year. I had five on my sugar apple last year, but they all did this. So, this one actually did make it through the summer, and it's still on here, but there you go. I mean, it's not edible, obviously, and did not mature. And this is the challenge that we have with Anonas here in hot, dry climate. We don't get that humidity during pollination, and high heat tends to cause problems to the any fruit set that you get. Okay, here is my other Adamoya here. And you can see some of the burn on the foliage. You saw that on some of the container grown tree as well. But for the most part, it is pretty green. Not a whole lot of damage, not a whole lot of sun damage. It is wedged among several trees here. You can see around it. So it gets a lot of morning sun, but pretty, pretty shaded in the afternoon. That's the type of microclimate you want to be growing the, these trees here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. You want to give them some afternoon shade and they'll actually grow quite well if you do that. This one here growing in the ground looks pretty nice for the most part. Next to it is my sugar apple. You can see how green that looks has put on a lot of growth this year. And this one's in a 30 gallon tub as well. Let me come around to the other side. Okay, here is my sugar apple here and it is filled out really nice. You can see all the new growth here on this thing to the left. You can see that's the main trunk that's leaning here. And I tried to stake it up with the winds and everything, just kept it blown over like this. And so all the new growth came up on this side of the tree, which is totally fine. It's growing more of like a bush now. You can see all that there, that's all new growth. But I'm fine with that being that it's in this 30 gallon tub down there below, you can see. So this is container grown. And all these Anonas, you can see how green this is. I mean, it's getting some yellow foliage, which do not worry about this in the fall and winter when you start seeing this, because this is totally normal. It's almost similar to like a deciduous tree in that it'll start, you know, getting these beat up leaves, the yellowish, uh, brown dead leaves that'll start dropping off of here, which is totally normal for these trees here in our climate in the winter they do start shedding leaves. If they were to drop them all at once like a deciduous tree, that would be a problem. But when they're slowly dropping like that, that's totally normal. Right up until spring when they start pushing out new growth is about when all the leaves are shed off of this tree for a brief period and then all the new growth comes out on it. So don't worry too much about that in the fall and winter months. But as long as you are giving these proper water and nutrients here, they grow really well. As long as you're keeping them in a nice microclimate where they're getting afternoon shade, they're gonna grow really well here. Lastly, let me show you my soursop. Okay, here is my soursop. And this got a bit beat up here this summer. It was in a spot where it got a bit too much sun for this. You can see some of the burnt foliage here coming off, dropping still. As it's cooled down, it's kind of recovered a bit. Again, this is growing in a container, and the reason for that is so I can move this indoors. 
on our really cold nights because this one does not tolerate much cold at all. Unlike the Atamoyas, the Atamoyas, you can put them in the ground and they'll make it through the winter here in the ground without protection. As long as they're established, I would protect them when they're young. But the, the soursop, the sugar apple, you wanna make sure you're getting them some winter protection here during those frosty nights that we get here occasionally. But here it is overall, doing pretty well. Got a little more beat up than normal this summer, but still surviving. The problem with the Anonas here that I found is just getting them to fruit and hold fruit and the fruit to develop. So I'm not sure if these are more just gonna be pretty trees to look at or if I'll actually ever get some fruit set on them. But there you go, there's a quick update on my Anonas and how they're doing here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. If you have any questions, feel free to drop some comments down below. Check me out at gardenofluma.com for more tips on gardening and growing fruit trees, especially in hot, dry climates. Thanks for watching.